to come here to Saras and study African art, East Asian art, Indian art, Islamic art, Chinese art, Buddhist art, and the art of Japan and Korea, contemporary art and visual studies, Gandharan art, Tibetan art, African American art. I mean, these are things that just aren't covered in most institutions, in most typical art history departments. SOAS is certainly a special place. Come to SOAS to study has been my life dream. It's just incredible and intellectually it's incredibly stimulating. You will hear about, learn about issues that you never would have even considered before coming here. Already in my times when I studied at SOAS, uh, those uh, opportunities were there. Now these opportunities perhaps have multiplied. The undergraduate course at SOAS is very open. You have the core courses in your first year, which give you a grounding in you know, the art and archaeology of Asia, Africa, the Middle East. And then after that point, you can pretty much make it your own. We also offer students the opportunity to take advantage of everything that is around them in London. So the, the museum environment here is, is spectacular. The Brunei Gallery is a fantastic asset for us. It's one of the best known art galleries in central London. Just up the road there we have the British Museum, so sometimes as, as a class we would go and look at the collections there. The postgraduate diploma in Asian art combined the theoretical with the practical in terms of approaching art. They are able, most unusually, to go and handle the objects of the British Museum. Many of them also go on to do not only the art world, like the auction houses, but also work in the museums all over the world. And it's opportunities that SOAS gives that makes it so special. So it is the one place in the world where we offer a kind of historical depth and a regional breadth. There are very few institutions in the world where you can study, let's say, Ottoman art and take classes in Ottoman Turkish. You are encouraged to participate in the class, you're encouraged to discuss points, and it's really nice that you get this kind of dialectic approach to teaching. Because we have the kind of creme de la creme of teaching stuff, they will know the people to put you in contact with. You are actually speaking to the people whose papers you're reading. So we offer a community. I think we offer a, a really strong community of students and of scholars. They get very close to their fellow students and those bonds are very strong. Those relationships have lasted with me now uh, for 15 years. So. It seems like a one place that get all those people together. So in terms of knowledge, you also create a lot of networks. Everybody bringing to that their own linguistic backgrounds, their own cultural backgrounds, their own academic backgrounds, their own desires, their own aspirations. And it's changed our perception of the arts, the visual arts, the oral arts, the sound arts, the tangible and intangible uh, cultures in a way that it's quite amazing. It's a really good way of trying to get a grasp of human nature as much as anything. And then that of course raises questions about the world as a whole and cultures as a whole. It's just one part of a much bigger story that is often not told and that SOAS tells very, very well. I couldn't see myself anywhere else. You have to come here with an open mind and open heart. It is a experience of a place where all the world is on your doorstep and you never know what's going to happen next in SOAS.